everybody. It is Thursday evening. It's about 10.35, give or take a minute. Um, I just wanted to introduce you to someone. I've, I've actually introduced him before, uh, but we have several new members in the group, and I would like to, you know, introduce the new people and reacquaint him with others. This is Thor. Thor is an Asian forest scorpion, and um, he really is a sweet little guy. Um, the scorpions, unfortunately, have a very, very bad reputation, thanks to Hollywood. And uh, there are people that are arachnophobic, I understand. Um, when I was a, a kid growing up, my mom and dad had a house built um, in a town called Watauga, Texas. And there's a lot of rock. I mean, rock big time. Um, when we're trying to put up a fence... Uh, it like killed us trying to get those stakes down into the ground to do the the, um, the fence. But because of the, the dirt and the soil, we had a lot of the little scorpions that are about the size of a matchbox car. And uh, the two-tone browns, what I call them. And those, those guys had attitude. Um, they always had their tail up ready to sting. Um, emperors... Uh, which is also known as an imperial scorpion, have now been, um, they've been uh, pulled enough out of the wild to be considered an endangered species, and it's now illegal to sell them unless it's, you know, unless you had a male and female and they had the babies. Um, Thor here, he is what's called an Asian forest. Um, which they're a lot like the the um, imperial and emperors, but um, I was trying to get where you could see his claw a little better. The um, Asian forest, their claw, all the way around both sides, is shaped like a, a spade, like the card game of spade. Um, so you can see his is partially curved, partially straight. Um, and see how his tail is going out straight? That means that he's he's content. He doesn't feel threatened. Um, Thor, can I please show everybody your little foot? All right, camera. Zoom in on the foot. Try to get to zoom in on the foots here. They have the cutest little feet. They have little tiny toenails. Um, their feet are kind of shaped like ours. Um, they are arachnids. They have eight legs. The uh, pincers on the front are kind of like hands. Um, and to answer everybody's question, no, these guys don't bite. No, they don't sting. And no, they don't like to pinch. Um, I have been pinched before. And it's honestly, that commercial for Fiat was lying um, these guys, when they grab your, your hand, it's, it's kind of throws you off because it feels like someone just grabbing with their bare hand onto your finger. Um, it's just more of an attention thing. Um, these guys, um, I've never, um, seen them use their stinger, not even for, uh, for stinging their prey. I have heard that that stinger itself is sharp and very, you know, like a, a hypodermic needle. But these guys, I've, I've watched them, multiple ones together in, in aquariums. I've seen, you know, we've had them on the bed, two of them, and they never once, um, when they were quote-unquote fighting, they would just use their claws. Thor, and say hi to everybody, pumpkin. Say hello, my name is Thor. Glad to meet you. Don't be scared of me. But, um, the neatest thing I think about scorpions is watching them eat. Um, if you've ever seen the movie uh, Predator, how he has that second little jowl that comes out, so do they. And whenever they eat, you can see the little mouthpiece come out and and eat. Um, it's kind of sad too because whenever they uh, eat crickets, uh, we had one that 
Her name was Raisin, and Raisin would actually take and just pick it apart while it's still alive. And I'm like, Raisin, please kill it. Uh, just pick the leg off and eat it like a, a, a chicken leg from KFC. But um, there's another neat little trivial thing here I want to tell you about when it comes to the scorpions. Uh, scorpions, despite being an, uh, an arachnid and a... Um, ah, Thor, my mind just went blank on what y'all skeleton. Um, invertebrate, that's it. That's the word I was looking for. Despite them being invertebrate, uh, scorpions give birth to their babies. They don't lay eggs. And if you're ever on uh, YouTube, look it up. It's really cool watching them. Uh, the female gestation is anywhere from 9 to 11 months. And they give birth to their babies live, and all the babies uh, gather on the mother's shell. And up until their first molt, she uh, has them on her shell, and her body excretes the milk, which is really cool to, to see the mama with all of her little babies. Um, Thor, where are you going? I feel you freaking on my back. <laughs> little prickly toes. Um, but they're, they are very docile. Um, I don't have a UV light. But as dark as Thor is, if I had a light, come on, baby, come back up here. Come on. If I had a light to show you, if you shine it on them, they glow kind of a neon green. Um, but it's not good to keep these kind of keep those kind of lights on them. Uh, it's kind of a reaction with their their shell. Um, it's not a good idea to keep those lights on them because eventually it can hurt them but um in fact everybody thinks that thor thor come here honey come on sugar everybody thinks that thor is black when in fact he's he's very dark green um they just so dark that only in certain lights can you see if they're green thor come on angel Come on, baby. You got your little mouth parts out. Are you thirsty? Oh, you want to go back and get some drink? Come here, honey. It's alright. Thor, it's okay. Mommy's picking you up in her hand. But here he is. Oops, sorry. I didn't mean to goose you there. Um, let's see. Right in that area right there, um, if you can see the the different color that's his little mouth part right there and um, whenever they drink that of course that comes out and whenever they eat that comes out um, scorpions like uh, um, like tarantulas they do molt I've never witnessed one molt uh, usually when we get a scorpion they are older and they don't molt, molt as much as uh, tarantulas do, but they do molt and shed their little skeleton. Whoop. Hey, that pretty baby. Yes, you are. Yes, you are, little Thor. Yeah. And uh, this, and Thor, <laughs> he uh, taught Buttons a lesson. Uh, Buttons was trying to be nosy and just, you know, kept sticking his nose at uh, Thor one day when I had him out. And um, I told Thor, you know, go ahead and pinch his nose because I, I know it wouldn't hurt him. And uh, I turned my back to get, get some of the water bottle to give him some water. And all of a sudden I hear this, Rear! and... <laughs> Um, he had grabbed Buttons, Buttons by the nose, and uh, Buttons shook him off onto the bed. It didn't hurt him. It didn't hurt either one of them, but it really was funny, and it actually kind of taught, it taught him not to stick his nose where it don't belong. <laughs> but, um, these guys really are a very good, uh, pet. I recommend them highly. Uh, however, as normal, I don't recommend any of these guys uh, around children under the age of seven. 
And of course, I'm that way when it comes to dogs and cats as well, because little children don't know their strength and could hurt them, you know, or if they, you know, if your child is not careful holding them, and I've almost done it myself, that stinger right there, not that he would sting me, but there's been times if I'm not paying attention that I almost hit that stinger myself. Just hit it. So, um, you know, I just, I don't recommend any of these guys for children under seven. But they do make wonderful pets. They're very, very docile. Now, there are some scorpions that are very aggressive and they try to grab you. Um, I've actually seen those before, and those, in my opinion, someone's hurt them. And every one of our scorpions that I have now, these have all been rescues from uh, pet stores. And um, what I mean by rescued from a pet store is whenever any pet store like PetSmart or Petco and uh, there's one place called Pet Supermarket around the corner from us. If any of them get in uh, tarantulas or scorpions that uh, are missing a leg or they're, they're super malnourished, anything like that, I'm, I'm notified and I go get them and bring them home. Uh, just because they're at a pet store does not mean that they're being cared for. I've had very many, many uh, Sunday go to Jesus meetings with these managers about their uh, their people throwing handfuls of crickets in. Crickets are very carnivorous, and um, they will turn on the uh, animal that they're with. Um, scorpions, they're a little bit more hard shelled, so it would take a little bit more. But like tarantulas, I've gotten tarantulas before that were missing a couple of legs because the crickets had attacked them and we have a 124 rule that we go by uh, just give them one cricket 24 hours later if they haven't eaten it or don't show interest in it uh, take it out of the aquarium I do have some that are, are 148 um, and then there are some of them that I've thought has eaten the cricket and they didn't and a week later I go in to give them another one and that first cricket is still there so those cricket, the crickets can hide if you're not careful, but um, it's very, very cute to watch the scorpions eat mealworms. Um, I have pictures on on my Facebook page of uh, raisin. Uh, she'd have one, and the way they hold it in their mouth, it kind of looked like she was eating spaghetti or smoking a cigar. <laughs> but um, anyway, these guys really are friendly. They're uh, they're not anything to be afraid of. As you can tell, he's pretty content sitting here on my hand. I think he's ready to go back in his room because his little mouth's out, so I think he might be thirsty. I've had him out for a few minutes. But I just wanted to reacquaint you guys with Thor. And, uh, yes, he is named after the uh, the, the Norish um, Thor, the one with the hammer. <laughs> um, Wayne named him. And, um, and I think it's cute. And we, I'm, I got a little Thor hammer that Wayne found as a keychain. And so we're going to get that out and get pictures of Thor with it. But anyway, this is Thor. Let's try to see if I can try to get that little foot again. I don't have a, a, a focus lens on here where I can focus it. But little tiny pricky feet, little toes. And they're, they're just really sweet guys. And um, but anyway, this is Thor. Thank you for watching. Have a good one. Bye bye.